Hill Jack Nation. As you can see there in the back of my truck, I got some pallets. And as you can see in the back seat, I got my girl Chelsea. And uh, we fixing to head up to the farm, check my trail cams, do a little uh, rabbit habitat, and uh, let's see what we can get into. It is cold, boys and girls. It actually looks like it might have snowed a little bit last night. Got snowflakes on the ground. But uh, this next week, it's going to warm back up. Spring is trying to come in here, and winter's trying to hold on. But anyway, let's see if we can't go up here, get a little habitat built for these rabbits, let Chelsea have a little fun, and uh, just have a good time at the farm. Cold weather hit and we got bit a little bit. Still pretty. Even though. Come on, Chelsea girl, let's go. house that or the old shooting house that fell down and uh we still haven't decided if we're gonna i mean i know we're gonna rebuild the base i don't know if we're gonna or I'll rebuild the stand because it's just uh wasn't deep enough to sit comfortably but we don't know uh what we're gonna do as far as are we gonna cut the legs off and just leave it lay get stuff out of it we haven't figured that out yet uh but whatever we do with it if we come in here and cut it up We'll pile it up right here, and that'll make some good rabbit habitat. And then right over here, where we have this little gap here in the trees, it's kind of built up. I'm going to put these pallets and give them another little piece of habitat right here, not very far from my camera. So I want them to be able to go in and out right here i'm gonna put some limbs on top of these pallets and uh you see i got three of them right here 
and uh, I'm gonna put them down on the ground the way I'm gonna arrange them and then I'll show it to you and uh, go from there so basically the pellets serve you know the way for rabbits to escape from predators so I lay a couple of them end to end where they can get deep in there and uh, kind of leave a little bit of a gap in the middle where they can get out if something were to happen to follow them in there uh, hopefully that won't happen because hopefully we're going to have uh, you know, enough stuff here to keep them out we just put enough of a gap there that if they need if they need a way out they can shoot out the sides if they want to and then I'm going to put the other one over that gap and uh, kind of as a roof just to sort of give them a little side help we put it the other way and it helps them stay hidden pretty good now, what that's going to do is it's going to give them a place underneath the brush to get away from predators and it's going to give them an escape route out four ways and that's what I'm trying to do is give them plenty of ways to escape uh, if they are being chased by predators just trying to help all right so now what I'm going to do we got some down lambs already here and I may have to cut some more I don't know yet we're just going to take some in want those rabbits to be able to get in there, feel safe, and uh, be safe from any predators that might be. I think they look like good too. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough rooms here to do what I want, but I can always cut some more. But right now, I'm just going to try to use what I got.
All right, so now you get the idea. I'll probably put a couple more sticks over this side to kind of guard that out exit. They can get in. Stuff's gonna have a hard time chasing them under there. Got the whole top covered up pretty good. So nothing's gonna get in there after them. And then they've got an exit out this side that's pretty well protected. They got an exit out the back, back there. So one way or the other, they can get in to a safe place. And then if something gets after them, they can get out of that safe place. And uh, I don't know, if, I doubt we've got any minks or fishers or whatever around here. I've never seen it. But if something that small were to run in there after them, they can still get out the backside. They can get out that little hole right there. They can get out the back. And there's another hole over there. So the whole idea is just to give them some place to get out if they need to. So anyway, that's rabbit stack number one. We'll uh, finish checking cards on this side of the road and then go get some rabbit stack number two. I could just about start every video just like that because that's her favorite place to get in every time we get to the bottom of the hill she hits the creek it's just crazy how much she loves to be in that creek let's go down here and see if i can see her under the bridge yep there she comes sweet girl under the bridge She loves to play in the water. Loves playing in the water. And right there is why we built the rabbit stacks. The dead rabbit up here by the camp. So something caught it out and about without a place to get. So anyway, that's sad to see. But uh, you know what? Whatever ate that also has to live, right? That's why we're putting in the rabbit stacks. To try to help out the rabbits, help them populate our farm. All right, so this time I've got three pellets uh, over on this side. Again, you see, we've got a thicket here next to an opening where lots of critters like to come in the field. And we see rabbits right here all the time because of these thickets, they can run through and get away. So we're gonna give them a little shelter right here on the edge of it. I'm gonna put it right up against this thicket here. Just cover it up with some of these limbs that are around here and uh, laying around and we'll see if we can't help the rabbits that are running around here have just a little bit safer place to hide uh, from predators. And so we'll, uh, I'll do this and then I'll show you. All right, so there's what we came up with got a side out there if they want got a front entrance there to the rabbit stack they can get into <coughs> got a back exit they can get out of or into and then i can't get to it but over there they've got an exit or two down there that they can also get out of or into just a way to try to help rabbits i mean yes we're hunters. Uh, people think all we want to do is kill animals, but no. Uh, one of the things that hunters do the most is conserve, conservation. And so we help the wildlife so that there's not uh, disease, overpopulation, suffering, uh, and like trapping and, and uh, coyote hunting and stuff like that helps take out nest predators and ground predators that would uh eat ground bird nests like turkeys and grouse and anything else i don't know what all nests on the ground but then also you're talking about raccoons will also eat rabbits possums will also eat baby rabbits if they come across them uh coyotes and bobcats obviously are going to eat baby rabbits so we're just trying to and then not to mention the hawks that fly around here all the time i always see hawks here and uh, we have a lot of squirrels and uh I'm sure there's a lot of squirrel on the diets of everybody, but we also want to try to help our rabbit population. This year we've noticed an uptick since we planted the grass, the uh, conservation grass from the state. 
So we're just trying to help out by building rabbit stacks and uh, giving them the best chance to survive and to populate. So anyway, there's the second one. My buddy says he's got plenty of more pallets coming. Uh, so I should be able to do a few more of these. But uh, anyway, yeah.